Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a get ready with me. Um, I got a few new palettes that I want to try out with you. And I thought I'd update you guys because I've got some little issues with my pregnancy. Not major issues. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little pregnancy update, life update, uh, whatever you want to call it. If you're new here on my channel, welcome. I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of lifestyle related videos, fashion, vlogs and also uh, pregnancy videos. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. So I thought I'd just apply a very light makeup look for today. Like I said, I have a few palettes that I want to try out. So this one I already tried out. Um, this is from Makeup Revolution, the Flamingo uh, Blush Palette, I believe. I tried uh, two colors and it's so, so pretty. Perfect for the summer. And then I got two new palettes from the Primark that I haven't tried out yet. So this Vacation Glow Highlighter Palette with three highlighters looks very pretty as well. Look at those colors. And then I also got a eyeshadow palette from the uh, Primark and this is the Color Grid eyeshadow palette. But I just love these colors. Very pretty. So I thought I'd just create a very glowy summer makeup. I'm just going to apply my BB cream from Olaf's Total Effect 7 in 1 that I always use. So if you watched my pregnancy videos, my first pregnancy vlog, I believe I mentioned it. But in the beginning of my pregnancy, my sugar levels were quite high. Not too high, but on the high side so the doctor already told me you have to be careful with sugars like um don't eat too many sweets and all of that so i've been careful during my pregnancy with any extra sugars like i ate a lot of fruit though but i was really careful with like cake and candy and all of that i did however eat sometimes like a chocolate bar and um, but i was just very careful and mindful about what i ate um, but unfortunately I went to the doctor last week, yes last week, and I had my glucose test. So the glucose test um, is a test that you get between 24 weeks and 28 weeks I believe. So this test they usually do um, in the morning because you can't eat and drink anything um, for about 8 hours I believe. So I went there in the morning and um, hadn't had anything and then they do some blood work. So after that they will give you a really sweet drink. It's like, yeah, it's not nice at all. It's like super sweet, like energy drink or yeah, I don't know. I hated it, but you have to drink that within two minutes and then you have to wait another hour and you can't move or go to the toilet like you just have to sit and wait and then after that they do again some blood work so then later that day they called me back and they told me that unfortunately my sugar levels were too high so then the next day i came back and they just checked my blood pressure and they asked me a bunch of questions like about my family if there were any um, people with diabetes in my family and all of that and um, they check my weight and everything seems to be okay and i don't have any people in my family with diabetes um, my blood pressure is okay and um, i haven't gained that much weight yet i think i'm below average so that's all very strange um, but yeah my sugar levels were too high thank god i don't have pregnancy diabetes i'm still below that but yeah, it is too high. So now they gave me a very strict diet that I have to follow. So I have a very strict diet now, which I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard. Um, I have to eat on certain times. And the things I can eat are like vegetables, yogurt, milk, um, like eggs, meat, and all of those things. But, but no potatoes, no rice, no extra sugars. Um, so a lot of things I can't eat and the hardest thing for me is that I just have to be thinking about food all the time like usually I just eat 
what I want and when I want and now I have to eat on these uh, specific times and um, yeah that's quite difficult for me but I have to do this now for about a week and then um, after this week they will check my blood sugars again so I really hope and pray that it goes well that they go down and that maybe I don't have to be so strict the doctors also told me that it's not my fault at all because I was just feeling very guilty towards our baby like oh it's my mistake that my sugar levels are so high but um, yeah they told me that a lot of women deal with this and that um, it's very common and you can't really do anything about it but because of the hormones in your body um, it can happen to anybody so that made me feel a little bit better because yeah like I said I felt very guilty um, like oh my god I ate unhealthy or something but I also know that I really tried to eat healthy like I already ate a lot of vegetables always and all of that things and I move a lot like I swim so um, yeah, I just really hope that with this diet it will go better and that I don't develop pregnancy diabetes so yeah so I really hope it will be better soon so I just applied this uh, blush from um, Revolution and look at that i don't know if i went a bit overboard with it but <laughs> i really love this blush so let's try that new highlighter the vacation glow um i think i'm gonna mix these two right here this one and this one but yeah i don't know if there are any women who follow me who also had uh, high sugar levels please share your tips because um i would love to hear them Oh, wow, look at that, so pretty, wow, very pigmented. Primark really stepped up their game, like their makeup products are amazing and very affordable as well. But other than my high sugar levels, I really have no issues, like I'm feeling fine. Like I do feel a bit tired sometimes, but um, I hear from all of my friends that that's really uh, normal if you're pregnant, that you're tired all the time. Yeah, I'm feeling great to be honest. Um, the only thing that is quite difficult is the heat. Now in Turkey, it is like 40 degrees or something. It's very, very hot. So that's the only thing that is a bit difficult for me now. Other than that, I'm feeling really great. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, yeah, let's apply some eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply a very natural look. So I think I'm going to use the colors that are up here. I think they are very pretty. Again, super pigmented. And I just realized I have to do my eyebrows still. Okay. <laughs> pregnancy brain yeah, let's first do the eyeshadow and then the eyebrows i usually always do my eyebrows first i don't know about you let me know do you apply your eyeshadow first and then your eyebrows or your eyebrows and then your eyeshadow that's also one thing that i noticed that i forget almost everything <laughs> like I am also very chaotic, like I already forget a lot of stuff, but, but I do feel that I forget yeah, a lot more. This metallic shade looks so pretty. I think I'm going to apply this with my finger. Wow, <gasps> look at that. So shiny. Oh wow, it's so nice. Then I'm just blending everything together. Also let me know in the comments down below if you like to see a, what I eat in a day with my new diet. Maybe that can be helpful if your sugar levels are also quite high. Um, like I said, the doctor gave me this diet so it's not something that I just made up myself. So yeah, let me know if you would like to see a, what I eat in a day then I can definitely film that for you guys. And I'm applying my NYX Butter Gloss. Very lovely peachy shade. This is the color Peaches and Cream. So this is the finished makeup look. I think the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette are great. Um, I already love the blush palette, um, but I haven't shared it with you guys yet. So yeah, if you can find this one, the Flamingo palette from uh, Revolution Beauty, get it. It's very pigmented. 
So don't apply too much. And I think the highlighter palette is so nice and shiny. You can also apply this as a eyeshadow if you want. Like very shimmery. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, get ready with me. Pregnancy update. If you know a little bit more about pregnancy diabetes. Or high sugar levels during your pregnancy. Uh, and you have any tips. Please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there are also some other women out there. Who would love to read those, um, those tips. So uh, yeah let me know. And if you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!